We're on a Wave 2 Ingenious Wireless Access Point, and I'm going to show you the band steering feature and what that does. So if you go from the device status down to wireless, and we see this option for band steering. So what band steering does, if we decide to enable it, is it allows us to choose a preference for 5 gigahertz when it can be used. So let's take a look. We've got disabled, which is the default, prefer 5 gigahertz, force 5 gigahertz, or choose a band balance. So first off, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the operation mode for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz are exactly the same. So we want to go to operation mode access point on both sides, which they are. Then we want to go and make sure that the HT mode is going to be the same as well. So let's change those to 40 megahertz on both sides. All right, so now let's go ahead and change from disabled to prefer 5 gigahertz. You can see some of the options on the right hand side go to grayed out because they have to match the 2.4 gigahertz side. That's okay. We can just go ahead and leave that the way it is. So prefer 5 gigahertz, what happens is, is when a device connects and if it can connect on both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, it will choose the 5 gigahertz because it will be a faster speed. If we choose force and it's capable of doing 5 gigahertz, then it will automatically push it out to 5 gigahertz. Now make sure, as you see under the note here, that your SSID or the broadcast name that the devices pick up on are going to be exactly the same. The same username, the same password, the same encryption, all that kind of thing. Now let's go ahead and choose the band balance. This option is going to allow for either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz depending on how many clients are on each device. And again, the client itself has to be able to support both of these. So if 5 gigahertz is getting overloaded, then it's going to balance that load on the 2.4 gigahertz instead. So we've got several different options here, and you do have some requirements such as matching the settings on the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz, or you can choose disabled. Now, if you choose disabled, then you can go into the device that you're connecting from and tell it to specifically use 2.4 or 5 gigahertz if it has that option. Otherwise, it will connect to whichever one responds first. Now, if you decide you don't want it to work that way, then you can create two different SSIDs, one for 2.4 and one for 5 gigahertz. And then when the client has the option to connect to the wireless, it'll see a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz option, and you can manually choose if you decide to not have band steering turned on. So that's band steering explained on an ingenious wireless access point.